YouTube channel, formerly New Horizons. My name is Jen. I'm really excited to be here with you today. And today we are going to go over a projector unboxing. And that projector is going to be the Vankyo Leisure Free Mini Projector. I'm also going to unbox the Universal Vankyo ceiling mount. We're also going to mount the projector and then we're going to go through calibrating it. I will make sure that you have links to where I found the projector and the mount and then where I found the tool that I'm going to use for calibrating it, okay? So, if you're as excited as I am, let's get started! Okay, so I'm going to start by unzipping the pouch. Just a carrying case. I don't think many of us are going to be moving our projectors, but in case you needed to, we have a nice little case to carry it in safely. First up is going to be the user's manual. Really handy for when we're working with it. I did notice that it says not for PowerPoint, Excel, or Word use. I'm hoping that that is not counting the projector files, but we'll see. Next you have just a quick start guide. Just kind of things to do, things not to do, basic troubleshooting. And we have a fact card, which you know is just support if you need assistance with your projector and all the different countries that they work with. We got these nice little straps that hold in the projector for traveling. Again, not like many of us are gonna do that, but just in case. First things first is the main projector. You can see it's nice and compact. Very simple, just a few buttons here. And it's got the nice camera lens. Be really nice for keeping dust off of your lens, I imagine. All right, so we have the first cord out is gonna be your HDMI cable. And then next up we have the VGA cable, the AV cable, your power cord, and then we've got a remote here. All right, now we're gonna move on to the ceiling mount. And this is just Vankyo's universal ceiling mount. First up, we have our user's manual again. Got your base that you're gonna screw into whatever surface you decide to mount your projector on. Got the main post here, which is gonna attach to the projector. You have your hardware for mounting. All right guys, so now we're gonna mount our projectors. I personally, as you can see, I have this tiling that I can remove so I can really kind of push it up into the ceiling. It's not gonna be really hanging down very much. There are also plenty of beams that I might be able to screw my mount into. If that doesn't work, I do have this extra piece of wood. We'll see how that goes. Okay guys, so now we're gonna start um, getting ready to mount the projector. I have the ceiling mount base and the pole that's gonna attach to the projector there out. If you can see here, this is threaded at the, the end that doesn't have any other fittings on them. And then if you look at the base, you can see that it's also threaded in. So those two are just going to screw together. And there you have it. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how it is going to attach to the projector, but I'm not gonna put it on there quite yet because I wanna get the mount actually attached to where I wanna put it up on the ceiling before I do that part. So at the bottom of the projector, you can see this little knob here, and that actually is going to unscrew. So we've removed that guy. And on the mount, you have this little piece here, but it's too big to go into this particular projector, and that's where the hardware bag comes in handy because it has two little adapters. Take your mount, and your smaller adapter, and then it will be able to screw into the projector itself. And then we've got this knob here that allows us to move it around. So we can really mount it however we like, and then we can move it to where.
Okay, everybody, it's time to actually calibrate our projectors with our computers, iPads, iPhones. Apparently, this one works for all of those, and they have a bunch of different connectors. Um, if you have Apple products, you're probably going to need some sort of adapter. That's just kind of the nature of the beast. Uh, so I got this little adapter here at Staples, and I'm using the VGA cable that came with the projector. There's also on the projectors for sewing uh, Facebook group, they have a whole bunch of different calibration tools. I chose the squares and rectangles one, um, and I'll give you a close-up view of what that looks like in a minute here. And it's got the different measurements of what all of those squares slash rectangles are supposed to be. So we're gonna go over calibrating with that, and we'll also do a calibration with a pattern niche pattern. Okay, so you can see here that you have your squares and rectangles with the measurements that they should be close to. They have said in their instructions that it doesn't have to be 100% accurate, but as close as you can get. They do have you tell you to use a cutting mat I don't actually have a cutting mat, so I'm using a Cricut mat. I think they have fairly similar measurements on their squares. And as you can see, we've zoomed to make those uh, center one inch squares match with the Cricut squares. And that's just a bunch of fiddling around with the zoom buttons in the Adobe Reader to figure out what it is. And that can be like down to a decimal. So it's not gonna be complete whole numbers all the time. And I just kind of trialed and errored it. You can see that your eight inch square here is a little bit off, but like they said, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. So I'm gonna use the Women's Knoxville projector file for the sake of this tutorial. And the one thing I have to say I really like being a first time projector user is that we still have our two measurement squares that we have for when we print them off. So I'm gonna use the two inch square here and I'm going to get that down to the two inches so that we can calibrate for this particular projector file. Okay, so when we were looking at that, we obviously saw that it was just way too big. So I'm gonna try to go down to 40% and see where that puts us. Still about a quarter of an inch too big. So we're gonna go down to 35.5 and see if that'll do. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright guys, well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that answered any questions. If you had any questions about this small projector, most of the things are, are pros for me. The only con is probably that I can't do a lot of like the adjusting um, zoom wise with the remote, I actually have to get up there and do it by hand, and I'm not a ladder person, so that would be a problem for me. Like I said, I'm a newbie just like everybody else, so I hope you guys have good luck, and I hope you have fun. Thanks for joining me. Bye.